Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today is a special day. It marks the one year anniversary of this channel, Diecast Cars. So on this day last year, I uploaded my first video. And as you guys can recall, it was an unboxing of the 2021 Hot Wheels Master Set. I purchased it secondary market for $1,100 and went through the rationale of why I paid that much and was it worth it? I'll tell you guys the truth, I had no idea what I was doing, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and I didn't think this was going to be something that I was going to continue doing for the long term. I thought it was going to be a one and done video, I was going to totally fail on my face, not get any views, and just move on to the next hobby, move on to the next activity. But surprisingly, I'd enjoyed myself and it seemed like everybody resonated really well with my videos you guys appreciated what i had to say and again for that guys i can't thank you guys enough because that's what started this channel and moved me in this direction and it, it's honestly like i found my calling just being on youtube and talking to you guys about these little toy cars so again a thousand times thank you so up to this point guys been on youtube for one year Right now, at the time of recording, I'm sitting at about 3,100 subscribers, which is unbelievable. I would never have thought within a one year span I'd have that many subscribers. And to add to it, half a million views and over 140 videos online, shorts as well as full length videos. So again, just appreciate it. All the support to this point has definitely made this channel what it is. And I thought, what better to commemorate this milestone than to review the first seven Super Treasure Hunts here in 2023. And that's what I have here for you guys today. So we got the A-Case, Batmobile, B-Case, Mercedes-Benz, C-Case, Kobo Camaro, the D-Case, Lotus, E-Case was the Mazda Cosmo, F was the Renault Super, and G-Case was the Gas Monkey Garage Corvette. So what I'm going to do is go through each one of these cars, I'm going to tell you what the current value of these cars are in carded form as well as rank them on my own personal opinion which ones I think are the best and which ones are the worst so far here for 2023. So I'm going to rank these cars from worst to best starting with the number 7 spot and that has to be the B case Mercedes-Benz 300 SL and first and foremost do you think they got enough red on this car? Red Spectre Flame, red steely wheels which I feel like is a terrible choice it just makes the car look kinda cheap and I get it they're going after that vintage antique classic racing car style which I guess makes sense but the red base kinda kills it I mean you got premium Spectre Flame up top and then this plastic base on the side here you almost kind of wish the casting in general was set up a little bit differently but I feel like overall the fan base definitely feels the same because this is the second least expensive super treasure hunt so this in carded format is selling for about $50 right now this was on the pegs not too long ago I know a number of people were finding this at Dollar Trees and Walmarts as well as Targets but this one, I don't think it's going to be in that top tier list of Super Treasure Hunts here in 2023. Number six on the list, the A-Case Toon Batmobile. And maybe I just have a gripe of this car because I opened up three of the Amazon black boxes, A-Case specific, and I struck out. I did not get this car. And I will say it is a pretty neat little cast. I mean, there's a lot of detail, a lot of curvature on this car. And kudos to Hot Wheels and Mattel for even putting in the effort to cast this car. I mean, these giant winglets on the back are pretty extreme to see in person. And it really just gives it that much more detail to beat out the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. But from a popularity standpoint, I would think that the broader community agrees because the current value of this car right now is the lowest of all the 2023 Super Treasure Hunts sitting at about $45 in carded form. Moving on to number five, this Mazda Cosmo from the E-Case for 2023 in this burnt orange Spectre Flame. I mean, what can you say? I mean, even as a diehard JDM fan, I'm not impressed or interested in this Super Treasure Hunt. Terrible cast. 
no popularity whatsoever in the diecast community i mean in real life i'm sure it's seen as a classic vintage jdm sports car but it just doesn't have any reference in the hot wheels diecast community right now I mean, just from a casting standpoint, I feel like the majority of the car is this giant plastic base here. I mean, at least they did a good job painting it white and integrating it into this white pinstripe on the side of the car. The other issue I have with this cast is the real axles are way shorter than the front. I mean, as a real car, is that even possible? I'm sure it's not like that in real life, but it just looks funny from a casting standpoint. So. That's where this car is currently on the secondary market because it hasn't been released yet. This is one of those backdoored super treasure hunts. It's currently sitting at that $60 mark, but I anticipate that's going to come way down. Moving on to number four, you got this Renault Sport RS01. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's very GT LM inspired. It's got all these crazy graphics on it crazy white wired wheels i mean it looks pretty cool i do appreciate that hot wheels even went the extra effort and die casted this renal into the spoiler which is pretty intricate i mean i can appreciate the details but again just from a relevancy standpoint i don't know how many collectors out there are collecting renaults again another red super treasure hunt i would hope that hot wheels could have Went with some color variety on these super treasure hunts for the first seven here. Again, really just not too interesting of a car in general. I'm sure it's awesome in real life, but in diecast format and within the hobby, this is just not something folks are really shooting after. Currently on the secondary market, this super in carded format is selling for about $60, but again, only due to the fact that it hasn't been released just yet once it starts to hit collector's hands i imagine the price is going to come way down and throwing everybody for a loop at the number three spot the g case gas monkey garage corvette i know this is going to be a fan favorite just given the popularity of the gas monkey garage this cast we've actually only seen it a couple of times so we saw it first edition in gold which really did mimic the real car in real life we saw it in a blue recolor and then a couple of times in the retro entertainment series premium but where i'm losing interest in this super treasure hunt is that they didn't just keep it true to form they didn't keep it as close to the actual Corvette in real life, they had to go and add all these flames to it. And I get it, they're trying to differentiate it from all the other releases, but I would have been perfectly fine if they just re released it in a gold Spectra flame with the right wheel choice. I mean, I think they would have did this Corvette more justice, but on the secondary market, again, it is one of the more latest leaked Super Treasure Hunts out there. Currently, it is the most expensive Super Treasure Hunt that you can get in carded format at about $75, which is pretty steep. Again, this car has not been released yet, so I anticipate that value would come down, but the interest should be there for this car moving forward. Competition's getting pretty hot. We'll move on to number two, and that is the C-Case Copo Camaro in this gold Spectra flame with all these art car graphics, giant R on the top. It's got mixed matched wheels, which I think really does add to the character of this car. It really goes with the decal themes on this car. I know right now from a collector standpoint, this is a very sought after super treasure hunt. It is released right now. Again, still fairly fresh, but you can find this on the pegs and currently it sells on carded format for about $70, which is pretty steep for a super treasure hunt. But again, there's a Camaro in the Super Treasure Hunt lineup every year, and they never stay in that $70 range. They always kind of taper back down to that $40, $50 range. That's where I anticipate this one going towards the end of the year. But from an overall aesthetic standpoint, it's definitely got the majority of these Super Treasure Hunts here in 2023 so far beat. 
and my personal favorite super so far here in 2023. My process of elimination, it's got to be this Lotus Avija. I mean, this car of all of these cars is the most stock, no details whatsoever. It's got front headlights, and I'm guessing it doesn't really have tail lights. But what's really cool is, and it's very small. Hopefully you guys can catch it in the video here, but it does have the Lotus badging on the back here in silver. But overall, this cast just has a lot of detail. The giant wing on the back, these giant inlets in the back here, the rear diffuser, even the wheel choice I feel like is really good. These chrome 10 spokes really do pop on this car. Again, it's got that Lotus badge right in the front there, so there's no denying what kind of car this is giant inlets on the side of the car crazy tint can barely see the interior but it is there i mean hands down the most stock and cleanest super so far here in 2023 currently on a secondary market standpoint it's sitting at about that 60 dollar price range so well below the camaro as well as the corvette so Chevrolet is definitely winning all the collectors right now but again I think it just comes back to relevancy not a lot of collectors out there shooting for lotuses the Avija at that but personally this is the best executed super so far but if I had to be perfectly honest and I've said this before the 2023 super treasure hunt lineup is pretty lackluster I mean, just look at this color palette. It's like they purposely chose all warm colors to start the year, which is kind of interesting. I mean, throw us a blue, a purple, a green. The casting choices are all questionable, but hopefully, fingers crossed, the last eight supers of the year, hopefully we'll get a couple of winners out of them. I know there is that Supra that's coming through. I know there is a Ford Mustang that's up next here, so Hopefully we can finish the year strong. But the question on your mind right now is probably how did I acquire the first seven super treasure hunts, albeit in loose format, but before some of these are even released. So as of stands right now, I don't think we are even beyond C case in my area. So that would just be the Copo Camaro, but I already have the next four super treasure hunts all the way to gk's the gas monkey garage which in all honesty probably won't be released in our retail stores here in the u.s until maybe about the march april time frame so we always talk about the retail as well as the secondary market but there is this little known mysterious black market when it comes to hot wheels and in particularly i'm talking about these cars that are somewhat backdoored and they always seem to originate from Malaysia, which we all know that's where the Hot Wheels factory is. But eventually these cars make their way to the secondary market where they show up like any other car, any other listing on eBay. We see it all throughout Facebook, Instagram. I mean, there's a lot of international sellers selling these cars that are well before their original release dates. And they're actually very well priced. So I will tell you guys right now, all seven of these super treasure hunts, the first seven super treasure hunts for 2023, I purchased them all for around $30 a piece. So out the door, shipping included, I got all seven of these for about $200. As a side note, that's about the price of the current Amazon Hot Wheel black boxes where you just get a chance at a super treasure hunt. I mean, maybe food for thought, guys. Maybe you go the option of just poking into the black market and buying a super treasure hunt for the upcoming releases versus taking a shot at these black boxes. I wonder if Hot Wheels and Mattel knows that they're somewhat cannibalizing themselves because I would imagine they're aware that these cars are making it out of their factories well before they're supposed to and i know i'm making it sound a lot worse than what it probably is i mean to be perfectly honest maybe hot wheels and mattel knows that these cars are getting out there to the market and maybe they're fine with it maybe the fact that these people who have these cars well before the release dates maybe it's totally legit we really don't know so we call it the black market we call it backdoored super treasure hunts but all i know is they're out there if you're really motivated to get yourself a set of super treasure hunts here in 2023 before any of your friends can 
I mean, they're definitely out there. Just poke around on social media or just go directly to eBay. The one tip I'll have for you guys is try to buy them all from one seller. That way you can save on international shipping rates. Well, that's what I got for you guys today. Just wanted to do a quick review of these first Super Treasure Hunts here in 2023. Again, thank you guys for a great first year of Die Cash Cars. I'm going to continue to work on this channel, make it bigger and better as I move along. But like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.